guys, welcome to my channel. Today is uh, an exciting video because we are coming out with a shade for Arctic Fox that I feel like we should have had for a long time now. So we are going to be testing this new shade today and I like to bring you along this journey with me because I like to see your thoughts and opinions on products before we launch them. So we'll get into that in a second. Um, I, let's hope I can, I don't know if I have enough of the, uh, enough samples of this to get through all of this hair. Um, so that's gonna be, yeah, we're gonna start at the ends. Uh, I also, I just ordered DoorDash and I'm so freaking hungry. Um, I just filmed this makeup look and I ordered DoorDash and it's gonna be here in like 38 minutes. Hopefully I don't have to answer the door looking crazy, but if I do, eh, it happens. So I'm just gonna brush through my hair real quick. I also have some extensions in right now, as you can see, um, that are a bit darker than the platinum that I've got going on up here. I'm actually about to add some more platinum extensions in here so this blends a little better. So pay no mind to that, but basically I wanna see if this shade is going to show up on this blonde at all because the idea with this color is you can kinda of wear it two ways. So let me show it to you. So this is a baby pink. Oh my gosh, I feel like we should have had this for years now, baby pink is like a staple shade that so many people use. And so I just feel a little embarrassed that we don't already have this as part of our, you know, color range at Arctic Fox Hair Color, but um, we don't. So this is gonna be a magical experiment that I want your guys' opinion on. I want you to participate. Let me know what you think. So today we're gonna be testing this because Ryan has literally been riding my nuts about putting this on my hair. He's like, put it in, put it in, put it in. He wants to like put it out really quick. So, um, you know, we've got to test it. We have to test, we have to make sure that the color comes up the way we want it to. This one actually has 10% more pigment in it than the first one we did because the first one was like a real baby pink. It was like a little light. And the only place you'd see that on is like, you'd have to have really, really platinum hair. Um, and I want to make sure that it shows up on darker blonde like this as like at least a pink tint so that you can kind of have, you know, a rose goldy kind of shade in addition to it being able to be used as like a cotton candy pink. So I wanna be able to use it both ways. So that's what I'm looking for today. And also from there, I do wash tests and we see how long it lasts. Now. Pastel shades don't typically last that long, no matter what you do. So it's just kind of the nature of the beast. They are light, they wash out faster. So we're gonna be testing this out today. And I honestly don't know if I have enough of my samples to like cover all this. So what we're gonna do is start at the bottom. Cause then if nothing else, it'll just, I'll have some pink tips and that'll be cute. But um, I also wanted to put a little uh, tip in here that I need, I feel like I need to film a video about this for Arctic Fox's YouTube channel. But, um, uh, so a lot of people will try and use like a light pastel shade from our range and they'll put, so they'll have like yellowy blonde hair and then they will use a toner to get it to be a bit more platinum and then they will go in with a pastel shade. I just wanna let you know that first of all, um, that doesn't count. If you are toning your hair into the level that's supposed to be, that doesn't count. It's not going to work. Um, your still toner comes out. It's just, you're still gonna be left with your yellow hair. Um, so, you know, I had somebody message me on Instagram. They were really upset. They tried to use Sterling and I asked them, you know, first things, first thing I try and do with people is like, first of all, I'm like, I'm really sorry your hair didn't turn out how you wanted. Secondly, let's get to the bottom of it and figure out how we can fix it. Um, and maybe what you did wrong or, you know, figure out what the issue is so that we can fix it. Anyway, this video just whole, took a freaking turn. Anyways, toner actually prevents our color from sticking properly. So you can come out with splotchy color. You're also still working with the shade that you have under that toner. So if you're trying to put a pastel shade on top of a really yellowy shade under your toner, you're gonna, you're gonna run into problems and it's probably gonna turn a weird color on you and it's gonna be splotchy. So do not tone up to the level you need to be. You need to be bleached at the level you need to be. Okay, putting that out there. Alrighty. It's our signature scent. I was wondering, sometimes we don't get samples in our scent. Ugh. 
So the first sample of this I sent off to my friend Delete to try and she has um, probably a blonde similar to mine right now and she said that it just barely left a tint. So that's why we decided to, um, hang on. Uh, we'll just, I'm just gonna split this in half. And you wanna make sure you brush through your hair because with our color, it's kind of the consistency of conditioner because it's like almost like a hair mask for your hair. It's very conditioning. So you wanna work in small sections. Um, and I'm not gonna wear gloves today because I, it's just a light baby pink. I'm not really too worried about it. So I've got my pink in here. And oh yeah, just so you can kind of see. Okay, so. Let's just start applying. Gosh, I have been wanting to have colored hair for a little while now, so I feel like this is gonna be good. This is gonna, it's gonna fix my bug. Okay, so I can already tell that that's gonna leave some sort of a remnant on my hair. Now we'll just have to see if it's what we want. So I'm just gonna do it up till there for now and just see how much ground we can cover or hair rather. I just don't want to get stuck with like a half pink head that's like not done like, you know, in a way that's supposed to look like only half my hair is done. I'm so excited to launch this shade. I hope that this is like all I ever hoped and dreamed for a baby pink. If you're gonna do your tips too, one of the best things to do is uh, bring um, Arctic Mist with you and just use that right here to kind of blend this in. You can also use a, um, a comb too, but that will help blend it in. Oh my gosh, I think this is gonna look really cool. You can kind of immediately tell when you're coloring hair, like if it's gonna, you know, if you need to darken it or like whatever, you can usually kind of tell right off the bat. Our base is made out of um, just super conditioning ingredients that are gonna be really good for your hair. Um, so you can really leave this on as long as you want. You can even sleep with it in. I suggest with pastels even, like leaving them in as long as possible. I think it's it really like helps lock in the color. I'm gonna do the bottom of my bangs here just so they can blend in. Little face highlights, pink. I just got a notice from DoorDash that my order has been picked up from the restaurant and is on its way over. That was like way faster than 20, or it said 38 minutes. Like that was like way faster, guys. Way faster. Oh my gosh, this is looking good. So pretty, okay. Starting over here. At least let's try and get this on before DoorDash guy shows up. Almost like dumped the brush all over my lap. <laughs> Would have been great. <laughs> I'm excited. Like my inner child is just stoked right now. Like. When I was little, um, my room was just straight baby pink. Like the walls were like a lighter shade of this. <laughs> oh my gosh, the guy is pulling up right now. Ah! Last thing I wanna do is rush on my dye job, okay? He just rang the doorbell. Shit, I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, okay. Alrighty, so. <laughs> I'm just gonna go through this and kind of make sure that there aren't any little blonde pieces. I wish I had a comb right now, but I don't. So I'm just gonna go through here. My food is getting cold on the counter officially. It can wait. Hair is more important. Guy like didn't take any second looks at me. Like I'm wearing slippers, sweatpants, a Guns N' Roses t-shirt, and I have hair dye in my hair. He like, didn't even bat an eyelash. I love it. Okay, so now that I've worked this through the hair, I'm going to go ahead and go eat my food and I'm gonna leave this on for probably about 40 minutes and we will come back once it is washed and dried and see what shade we have. Nervous, but I'm also excited. Ugh. Gotta wash my hands before I can turn off the camera. Here is the final look. 
I love this so much. This is so pretty. This is like a really beautiful dusty pink on kind of a true blonde, which I absolutely love. So the more yellow toned your hair is, the more of a kind of a salmon-y pink you're gonna get. But I think this turned out really, really well. I didn't even actually leave it on as long as I was supposed to. I think I only left it on for about 25 minutes thinking I was leaving on for 40 minutes, but I didn't. And don't mind my eyes, I like totally ripped my eyelashes off because they were hurting my eyes. But here it is. I feel like I've quenched my thirst for like some color at the moment. This looks really cool. This is gonna look so cute when I kind of do this back and like up in a ponytail with some of the pink up here. This is so, so pretty. I love how this turned out. Depending on how it fades and whatnot, I think this color might be a go. If you have any name, uh, shade name ideas for this. Um, we're not totally settled on anything 100%. We had a couple that we were considering, but if you have a really good one, let me know in the comments below. It can't be anything like extremely common because typically those are already um, under copyright. So, oh my gosh, I just got a hair in my eye. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ow. Why? Is it glitter? <sighs> No, it doesn't look good. Okay, I'm good. Wait, I'm not. <laughs>